Hello, everybody. Prince of the Bear here, and we're back at World Sapphire Falls. I'm a tista. Yes, the Princess of Nash has come back here. We found a really weak excuse in the Detroit Gras. So we're back. This is the best restaurant in all of uh, Universal. Universal property. It's easily. true. It's true. We will, there will be no contenders. Let's go see what they have for us today. Be sure to subscribe and stay sapphire. I heard the girl. So when we say best Universal restaurant, we mean best Universal restaurant. Even their bread just stunts in all the competition. Uh, for the princess, none of it's vegan. It means more for me. We have a nice cheese bread and then a walnut cranberry bread. This bread, love this bread. Look at that. See the cranberries in there, little pieces of walnut. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Vegetarian, this is for you. Mm. Perfect balance, cranberry and walnut. It's like little pieces of walnut, like tiny pieces. They're like huge chunks, which is best. Four out of five plus. You have the king of breads. You have cheddar bread. But any Popeyes, you're going to come across. Look at that. You can see the cheddar ridges in there. Just get to be what they want. That's what you really want. You don't come here to see me. You come to see things ripped apart. Delicious cheesy. Think like stuffed crust pizza if it was a biscuit. You have a nice cheddar outside and then cheddar inside. This is the way. Five out of five plus. So you're saying people should come here for this biscuit? They should get that bread? I'm saying that you won't find Universal restaurant with better bread service. It just does not exist. They're not even remotely close. We've gotten breadsticks that can knock somebody out. We've gotten plain generic rolls. Whole nother level. Like Seattle and Jamaica. Not a fiance, don't mind me. Hello, Sangria Pitcher. Come to me with your extra fruits as you slowly pour into my glass. Look into my glass. Your path now leads to the fortune and glory. Mm. No, this isn't the Indiana Jones ride. Anyway, cheers to Sangria. It kind of tastes like pop juice, and I'm not mad at it. And it has cognac in it, so I'm here for it. I'm gonna give it a three out of five sangrias. It's one of the better sangrias I've had. I would put it up there with three bridges. I say quick is the way to make an accurate four. Uh, now the sangria pitcher is only double the price of Two sangrias, or one sangria. So, why not go for the pitcher? You're getting more. Princess, unfortunately, to share with me, but it's still a deal. It's probably getting three or four right now. Turn. Mm. It's tangy. I wasn't expecting it. I can see the princess gets palm juice from it. Nice and fruity, nice and sweet. I say that the. Uh, it's probably gonna sneak up on me in a couple minutes. Give it three and a half out of five minutes. Definitely above average. So the Arepas have been repackaged in this beautiful little, like, um, I don't even know what to call this. Like, uh, yeah, like a little pocket. Like, a uh, chaloop, not a chaloop, but, um, um, Contrap. 
like a crunch wrap, like a little bitty jackfruity crunch wrap. Cheers to the crunch wrap. The crunchy, crunchy. I don't know, I just like to roll my R's. Crunchy. Something about having it in like a little crunchy pocket like this is a lot more appetizing. And it's like a four out of 10 on the heat scale. Like there's a nice little kick in there. I absolutely love this. I'm eating extra onions so Bear doesn't have to. I was in love with these before, but I'm even more in love with them. In this cute little pocket style. I think this is a much better design choice than what they had before. I'm gonna give it a five out of five. It's a princessity's item. You need to come here for this. You need to come to Amatista, period. If you don't come to Amatista during your vacation, you are missing out on some amazing food. Don't believe me, ask the dishes. A rape of pocket. I'm gonna be honest with something here. You sell these fresh jackfruit, Maybe some a gas station. I'd probably eat these. Ooh, nice and crispy, Arepa. You still got a nice, like, filling. A nice, significant, like, Arepa. So it's not like they haul it out the entire thing. They still left a little bit of the center in there. I'm gonna get some. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna bear it. I'm gonna grin and bear it. Mm. Mm. I wasn't expecting the, the punch of flavor and spices. And it's spicy. Like a three and a half out of ten on the spice scale. Tangy. Pickle onions are perfect. The jackfruit has a right punch to it. If all the vegan arepas were that good, it's probably all the prints would ever eat. I'm gonna give it a 4.75 out of 5 points. Almost perfect. Use a little bit more filling. But almost perfect. Here we have what continues to be my favorite dish here. Any excuse that I can have to order this. I'm, normally, I'm not normally an appetizer and main man. I'm usually just a main and then I'm ready to go home. My drink to my appetizer. A Matista, every single time we come here, I eat an appetizer. And these chicken arepas are amongst my favorite. Like chicken and chili and black beans. Like this super crispy, empanada crust. This is empanada of my dreams and probably more nightmares because I don't find anything anywhere near that's good anywhere else. Mm. Mm. Tangy, juicy, seasoned chicken on the inside with the black beans. It's like if you covered an empanada with cornflakes. That's how crispy it is. A delicious filling. And then sauce to rub it in. They just serve this as like a whole snack. Four or five on a plate. Five out of five claws. It's one of the best sesame for us. Every single time we come here. And so we have a lovely vegan pizza. I'm gonna take an end piece because I love me a good end piece with some artichokes, jackfruits, pickled onions. Let's go. This is a barbecue that I've always wanted and loved. I love this pizza. Almost as much as Blaze, but not as much. I'm gonna give it like a four and a half out of five Mario's. It's better than Luigi. I'm at that Mario level, but not Peach Daisy or Bowser. Jackfruit, barbecue jackfruit pizza. Not high on my list. I put a lot of weird toppings on pizza. Yes, like pineapple. Uh, artichoke and jackfruit. Not necessarily high on the list. A little bit of arugula. It's definitely one of those out there pizzas. No, it's technically a flat. My bread isn't technically pizza, it's just flat bread with sauce and toppings. I guess it's what a pizza is. Semantics, really. Mm.
artichoke and nice smoky. A nice crisp flatbread crust. It's warm even the park How about a boat? I'm not Batista. Don't sell for terrible theme park pizza. And you have this. The short boat took away. Four and a half out of five. Here we go. It feels like every week now, we are assaulting our senses with another Mardi Gras dish. We have no intentions of stopping until Mardi Gras is over. Just so you know. Uh, this is an odd one. So, Amatista does like a Caribbean style, Cuban influence, Jamaican influence. This is a shrimp and a newly sausage gumbo pot pie. So, it's a gumbo pot pie and like a Caribbean themed restaurant. We have Caribbean Mardi Gras stuff at Universal, it's not that odd. Uh, but it's their take on a pot on actual cast iron. Watch your fingies, it is hot. It was nice bread top. This reminds me of the uh, seafood pot pie I got from Alan Thomas. Very similar construction, even though it's a deeper pot. And underneath here, this well-seasoned bread, you have the gumbo. And dooley sausage, shrimp, peppers, bay leaves, all the usual gumbo stuff. With the bread on top. Let's see if this is the way the gumbo is meant to be eaten. Now this bread is floofy. Like super floofy. Like warlock floofy. If you understand what warlock floof is, we might be friends one day. Um, there's a lot of stuff in here. This pot is deeper than it looks. Deep and full of magic. Now I almost avoided this because the one thing is there's okra in it. And as a bear, I hate okra in all its forms. Unless I cannot see and or taste it. We'll see if it's one of those signs. My ancestors just slapped me in the tonsils. I just got a kick that I was not expecting. Straight in the back. Is it gumbo? Yes. Does it have a top on it that technically makes it a pot pie? Yes. Is it a pot pie? Construction would say yes. There are no rules of pot pie. If there were, Mardi Gras basically said screw all of them and did it anyway. And I'm quite surprised. I'm gonna take one more bite. Just to make sure that wasn't a fluke. A little bread, didn't even need the knife, look at that. How easy that comes apart. Maybe I do need the knife, I lie. The shrimp in there. It was hot the first time, sue me. Now, if only some of the Mardi Gras items at the table service restaurants inside Universal had this much soul. And yes, I'm talking to you, Lombards. This is good. It's four and a half out of five plus. I would say that if you have sensitive to spice, I would avoid. Otherwise, jump on in this gumbo. We have plantains. I'm gonna get a tiny one and just ingest the beautifulness that is a plantain. Crispy, sweet, charred, good. Not worth, not sure if it's worth a side, but if it came like as one of your options when you order a dish here, I wouldn't regret that. I think if I had to choose between um, Batista plantains and Caribbean beach plantains, I'm picking Caribbean beach. 
These are two and a half out of five plantains. They're kind of burnt. a little too burnt for me. Plantains to me, because the way my taste what works, almost don't classify as a, as a side. To me, it's a dessert. I would eat plantains for dessert any day of the week. Look at that. Look at that. I tried cooking plantains once. It's a terrible failure. Apparently, my answers are not experienced with the plantain. I tried. That crisp, like a charred side. Delicious, like a salt with like a warm plantain. These deserve to be roasted over a grill. Luckily, we're in a state that knows how to make plantains. Very few places have we ever gotten bad plantains. But the bar is really high. The glorious stuff on kitchen is like peak to me, and then probably spyglass. And then probably. Even as it is, it's getting a three out of five. This is my favorite thing to, to order from Mama Tista, and it seems like every time we come here, it's served differently and flavored differently. And I'm not bad at that because yuca is always amazing. The thing that sets Mama Tista yuca apart from all the others is that like rich citrus flavoring that they put it through. Literally the best yuca you can find at Disney or Universal. Even though this one is probably on the low tier for Amatisa, it's a little dry compared to what we're used to from here. It's still better than anything that we've had as far as like a fried yuca. So four and a half out of five. It's usually a five out of five Princess City's item. This one just isn't cooked as well as they usually are. But my jam still. I'm gonna eat the out of this. I just Jesus had his own unique way of serving you. It can usually be like you can fry. I'm not upset at a different way of getting it. Maybe it changes. We like change. Change is something to do on this channel. Like a blast of citrus. I feel like it could have been cooked a little bit longer. A little tight undercooked. They're a bit more with than we used to. It's sad. It's usually just making me sing. Now you think I want to do a drink. Two and a half out of five plus. So, that has been Amatista. It was delish, and I'm glad we got leftovers to take home. Yeah, we are, we are overly full. We probably ordered more with our eyes on our stomach. And that's fine. That's Amatista. We did, we did a lot here. That's um, Amatista. But still, easily, bar none, best, 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 best restaurant in the worst property. I can't speak for the Mardi Gras items, but for the vegan items, they amaze. Super amazed. But we need to know what you guys think. Why haven't you guys been here? We ask every single time we come, why haven't you been here yet? Let us know in the comments below. If there's any restaurant for any reason you want to be wrong about being better than Amatista, that's always in a place to find us. If there's any resort restaurant that you should go to on <laughs> Universal property, it is Amatista. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this and we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Amatista, Saturday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to Amatista. Otherwise, Bear is going to judge you for not including Amatista on your vacation. And I will judge you harshly. Yeah.